In this video, you will learn how to fuel your ride. Longer rides can be anywhere up to 4 hours in duration, so it's important to maintain hydration and energy levels to avoid fatigue. Here are a few tips to bear in mind. Always take some money with you in case you need to stop off and buy more supplies. Carbohydrates can come in all forms. There are drinks, gels, chews and bar forms all available. You can also get good energy from non-sports nutrition products, such as bananas, nuts and cereal bars. Bear in mind that you'll need fluids for both rehydration and to aid in the absorption of carbohydrates. Try to average anywhere between 500 milliliters to one liter of water per hour, depending on the temperature. Keep at least one water bottle in a cage on your frame. The important thing is to eat little and often, well before fatigue sets in. Organize your foods into groups in your back jersey pockets. You may want to keep solid foods and gel separate, so you know exactly what you're reaching for. Keep one hand covering the brakes while reaching, in case you suddenly need to stop or turn. Avoid reaching for food or drink when riding through crosswinds or when descending. It's safer to refuel on wide, flat stretches where there are fewer other cyclists around you. Look behind before you grab something to eat or drink. Remember, it can take some practice reaching behind you or grabbing your water bottle whilst riding without swerving or slowing down. If you don't feel confident doing this, then slow down and try it out on a quiet stretch of flat road to practice. You should be prepared to drop anything you're holding if you need to suddenly pump the brakes to avoid crashing. At the same time, it's important that you don't leave any litter during your ride. If you drop something, stop off, pick it up and leave it in your pocket until you can throw it away properly. Enjoy your ride!